バーバーバーバーバーナナバーバーバーバーバーナナナナバーバーバーバーバーナナバーバーバーバーナナナナバーバーバーバーナナとガリロポタトリーキャニバロマニカのチカーバーバーバーバーナナ Hi boys and girls, hope you're all well and you had another lovely week Now, this week we're going to continue to think about different things that we can do with our hands, okay? But before we do that, we have to find out what song we're going to sing. And I think it's Milo's turn this week, so let's see what song Milo's going to choose. Okay, boys and girls, we've got Milo here ready to choose, and he's either going to choose between Jesus, you're my superhero, or Dr. Jesus. So, Milo, are you ready to choose? Let's see which one he chooses. Oh, he's gone for Dr. Jesus. Let's get ready to sing and dance. Doctor, feeling fully fine. They'd say, Why did you come here? It's a waste of time. But there is a doctor we all need to see. Jesus Christ is calling. Come and follow me. Doctor Jesus will see you now. He gives a brand new start Not just for the things on show He sees inside our hearts Dr. Jesus will help you now Forgiveness is the fix The healthy don't need a doctor It is the sick Why does Jesus eat with them, people we despise? But the doctor ordered that they would belong. God's kingdom is for those who know they've done wrong. Doctor Jesus will see you now, he gives a brand new star. Every day. Well, you definitely do it Monday to Friday when you are in school. And you might do it with a pencil 
or a pen, but probably a pencil. You might do it when you're at home with your homework as well. Can you guess what it is? It's writing. You use your hands to write, don't you? Maybe you're right-handed or maybe you're left-handed or maybe you can even write with both. Well, now I am sure that all of you know that I am a teacher and one of the things every year that I have to write out for my class is a set of rules. Now, I am sure that there are a set of rules maybe put up somewhere in your classroom in school or maybe you have a set of rules in your house as well. There's lots of different rules, isn't there? I wonder why we have so many rules. Why do grown-ups give us so many rules? Do you think they're maybe just trying to ruin our fun? I mean, what's the problem of riding our bike without a helmet on? I mean, I'm sure it'd be pretty fun to ride your bike without a helmet. But the rule says that we have to wear a helmet, doesn't it? And I'm sure it would be pretty fun to eat sweets and chocolate all day. But the rule is that we're not allowed to. The rule is we can only have sweets and chocolate sometimes. Why do grown-ups make us have so many rules, do you know? Because those rules are there to keep us all safe, aren't they? It's not safe to ride your bike without a helmet, sure it's not. And it's not a good idea to eat lots of sweets and chocolate all day because you're going to sore tummy, won't you? And you might feel a little bit sick. So grown-ups make lots of different rules to help keep us safe. So today's story is about a set of rules that Jesus gave us all, okay? And he, I'm going to tell you where he gave it where he told everyone about these rules, okay? So make sure that you are sitting nice and comfortably because it's time for story. Once, when Jesus saw a crowd of people, he went up onto the side of a mountain to teach them. The people had heard other teachers, but they were amazed at what Jesus said to them. They could tell that Jesus was speaking the truth. What Jesus said that day was so important that his sermon was written down in our Bibles for all of us to read even many years later. Since he was speaking from the side of a mountain, people referred to what he said that day as the Sermon on the Mount. Jesus was a good teacher. When people listened to him, they learned many important things about God. But... Jesus did not just talk about what people should know. He also taught people the best way to live. He taught about worshipping God, but he also taught about being kind to people and helping others. Let's see some of the things that Jesus talked about in the Sermon on the Mount. Many people in the world do not know about God or follow him. When people do not follow God, it feels like the world is in darkness. But Jesus told his followers that they could be like a light in the dark world. If they obey God, then people would know the right things to do. Jesus also talked about following rules. Other teachers have been saying that it made God happy if people obeyed all the rules. But Jesus said, if you only follow God's rules on the outside, but you don't love him on the inside from your heart, then this actually makes God sad. God is our heavenly father and we are his children. Children want to be like their fathers. So Jesus said, try to be good like God. Your father is good. But some other religious leaders follow God's rules just to get attention. They like to do things like stand on a street corner and pray really, really loud so that everyone would hear them and think they were good. But Jesus said that God can hear us pray even if, if we whisper or go to a quiet place all alone. In fact, any time we do good things, God sees what's happening. We should do good things to make God happy and not just to show off to other people. 
Another thing that Jesus talked about when he was on the mountain was treasure. Sometimes people worry about money or clothes or food. But Jesus said that if you follow God, you're rich. You will have treasures in heaven waiting for you. People think that earthly treasures, things we have when we're on earth, get disappointed if the treasure gets lost or stolen. So which is more valuable, treasure on earth or treasure in heaven? Jesus said, if we always worry about things on earth, we will be sad. If we remember we have treasure in heaven, we know that the treasure will last forever. The last thing Jesus said in his sermon was about making a wise choice. He said there were two choices and the choices are like gates. One gate is really, really wide and very easy to go through. Most people choose this gate. They always do what's easy instead of doing what's good. The other gate is really narrow and harder to go through. Not many people choose to go through it. The people that do go through that narrow gate want to do the right thing even if it's difficult. So, where do you think the gates lead? Jesus said the wide gate leads to a life filled with destruction and the narrow gate leads to a wonderful life that leads to an even better life someday in heaven. Which gate would you choose? Jesus said many other things that were important in the Sermon on the Mount. So many things, it might be difficult to remember them all. Even if we don't remember everything Jesus said on the Sermon on the Mount, there is one thing that we need to try very hard to remember. If we remember this one thing Jesus said, then we will always know how to treat people. It's like a really important rule that works in any situation with anyone. It's so good that some people call it the golden rule. Would you like to hear what the golden rule is? The golden rule that Jesus said on the Sermon in the Mount was, do to others as you would have them do to you. That means the way that you want people to treat you is the way that you should always treat them. If someone hurts us, we feel like hurting them back. But that's not the golden rule. The golden rule is that we only treat people like we want to be treated. Jesus knew that following the, the golden rule might be difficult sometimes. But do you remember what he said about the gates? Choosing to follow the golden rule is like going through the really small narrow gate. It may be more difficult, but it leads to the best life. So, now you know the story of the Sermon on the Mount and the Golden Row. Okay, boys and girls, so a craft this like is we're going to need a piece of paper like this. And what we're going to do is we're going to draw around our hand again. Okay, I am sure you're getting really good at this. But we are going to draw around our hand again. Okay, so I'm going to do that and then we'll see what we have to do next. Okay, boys and girls, so you will see that I have drawn round my hand and I've also coloured it in. Okay, so you can colour yours in as well. And if you want to cut it out, you can, but you don't have to. Okay, so I'm not going to cut mine out this way. But the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get a pen. And I'm going to start to write out all those rules that we learnt about on the Sermon on the Mount all over our hands. No, I'm only joking. That would be an awful lot of writing, wouldn't that? No, we've got some words here. We've got five words that hopefully mummy or daddy or growing up in your house printed it out, okay? We've got the word Jesus. We've got the word much. We've got the word me, and we've got the word very, 
And our last word is the word mouse. Okay, so what we have to do is we have to choose what word we're going to put on each of our fingers, okay, around the hand that we've just drawn around. So um, let's start with Jesus, okay? Let's start with Jesus. And if you want to write this instead of sticking it down, um, you can do that instead. You can write on your hand instead, okay? So I've got the first word. I've got the first word stuck on my thumb. I've got the word Jesus stuck on the thumb, okay? So the next one, what do you think it might be? I think we might try loves. What do you think? So I'm going to stick that on. Again, you don't have to stick it on. You can write it on if you want. Okay, so the next one, the next word I'm going to use is the word, two little letters, me. Okay, so I'm going to stick that on my next finger around the hand that I've drawn on. The next one I'm going to get is the word very. Okay, so I'm going to stick that on the next finger that I've drawn around. And my last word is the letter or the word much. Okay, so I'm going to stick that on my last finger, my little pinky finger. And then have a look. When you go round from the thumb, it says, Jesus loves me very much. Five words for five fingers. And they are five very important words that you always need to remember, okay? Because Jesus does love you very, very, very much. Okay? Well done, boys and girls. That was a great craft this week. Great work. Okay, boys and girls. Well done. Well, it's nearly time for me to go. But before I go, I just want to say a prayer with you. Okay? So I need you to close your eyes and bow your head. And we're going to say a prayer. So, dear God, help us to learn how to please you. We want to obey you because we love you. And we know that Jesus loves us very much. In Jesus' name, Amen. Well, boys and girls, that's it for another week. So, I hope you all have a lovely week and I will see you next week. Bye.